A huge crowd in attendance and the park in pretty fair condition despite the adverse criticism during the week. Diving on it is Duckworth, the first free kick going to the Bombers. It's taken by Watson who gets it over to Bahaja. Essendon swing into attack. Danaher in front, almost at mark, knocked away by Dench. Danaher again, oh here's a goal coming up, 20 metres out and Danaher brings up first goal in 30 seconds. What a start. Madden and Ruck for Essendon. It's won by Madden. Glenn Denning fumble. Plenty of pressure on the players at the moment. Schimmelbush now to put North into attack. No, there's another free kick going Essendon's way. So they've got the ball out of the centre twice. Both from free kicks. Duckworth, beautiful kick. Towering punt up the full forward. Danaher's there, but there will be a penalty. Duckworth favours the torpedo punt kick. A mammoth kick into the goal square. And it's a goal! Well, I was rather surprised at Dempsey there. I thought he could have touched that one. Uh, and it's been off to a sensational start with uh, Eston kicking two goals within the first two minutes. They're 2-1-13 to North Melbourne yet to score. Hawker and Ezard's down that time by Ramsey. Picked up by Bradbury. It's a short kick. He's flattened after he kicked the ball. It'll be a free kick down the game. It's oh, on again. Neagle going. Neagle going in. Oh, they're uh, tipping him out left and right. Oh. And there's Cracker having a go at Duckworth. Shaping up. It's Phil Cracker shaping up with Duckworth. There goes and there's the Jimmy. And Jimmy's into it. Oh, they're boxing on from the word go here. What a day. It's TV ring. Uh, TV ringside. Peter, it's better. Maybe they all squared each other off there. Kink at half forward. 45 metres out directly in front. And goals. So... A couple of bookings, three goals on the board though to Essendon, and uh, that's the name of the game. Puts it high. Greg goes to spoil, effectively. Abernethy got rolled. Plenty of Essendon players running. Watson takes the hand pass at half forward. Short pass, beautifully delivered to me. Watson, and a 15 metre penalty, surely. Or a booking. I certainly have to earn kicks today, it would appear. Mahaja's kick. Not very long, but it didn't have to be. It's a goal, and Essendon come away again to a lead of two goals. 4-1-25 to 2-1-13. North Melbourne falling to the trap a bit. They're manhandling Essendon when they should be playing the ball. Let the, the Bombers do the rough stuff. The ball goes across the centre-half forward now, over the centre-half forward position. Ball tapped away. It's run. Oh, little Williams clear. Has his running shot, but he's grabbed. It's back to Ezard. A snap at goal. What's the result? It's good. It's a goal. That's his first, so at the 24 and a half minute mark, it's five goals, two. I tell you what, they're letting him go. Cracker, McDonald and Duckworth. Well, McDonald has got it and is caught. Beautiful tackle. Beautiful tackle. This is no reason for him to play on that occasion. He's taken the mark. And Schimmelbush up towards centre field. Out towards that centre wing position. McCann in the front posse picks it up. But that's well smothered. They're doing that well at the moment. And, oh, Van der Haar got one around the neck. Umpire call play on. Laws grab. Back it goes now. It's Weston trying to get clear. The umpire's calling play on. This has given Watson the break he needs. He's going for a bit of a trot. The centre half ball a short pass. It's a beauty too. What a pass. And Merritt's got the ball well within kicking distance. We're at the 28 and a half minute mark of the first quarter of the preliminary final for 1983. And the Bombers off to a great start as Merritt fires at the goals. And that's a lovely shot. So there's six goals, two, 38. He's coming back in towards centre half forward where they can go directly down the ground. They go along with you, Bobbers Heard drives the ball back to Van der Haar. And the Flying Dutchman's got it out there at half forward. There's a lead coming in from uh, Danaher. He's in the front, Bobby. And oh, he couldn't get that one. Dench goes after, but backing up well is Little Williams. A hand pass to Wizard. And this looks dangerous for another goal. He runs to an open goal, and you can put it in your glasses. That's goal number two to Wizard. And of course, seven goals, two, 44 Reston. And there's every chance you'll get the free kick. That's about right, and they have been first to the ball for uh, most of the quarter. Williams at right centre wing. Gets better every time I see him. Likewise, young Ezard. Merritt at the back. Great mark. Not good defence there by Glenn Denning. A chance to bring up his second and Essendon's eighth. And what a great start that would be for them in this opening term. It's straight. It's long enough. It's a goal. Eight goals to Essendon in a sensational opening here at BFL Park. Eight goals, 2.50. A very crowded bounce it will be. Knocked away by Madden. Picked up by Hawker. Hawker in towards Merritt. Now who's hanging on to who down there? Yes. 
Dench was doing that before, actually. Merrick, some 15 metres out and directly in front of goal, will be a valuable one to Essendon. It looks OK from here. And four points to Roger Merritt, who is the Bombers' leading goal kicker now with three, who kicked the last goal. That kick's not quite so good, and it falls into the arms of Merv Neagle, who plays on. Neagle from half-back. Looks for Madden. Beautiful pass. Madden at centre wing. Kink making position too long for him. Ramsey is there. The shepherd is from Dench. Plenty of Essendon players. Good tackle by Greg on Hawker. Merritt has shot at goal. He's kicked three already. Is that four? Yes, it is! Great handball by Essendon, and justifiably so, perhaps. Dempsey and Madden had a great battle so far. Free kick to Madden. For a shepherd, I presume. 40 metres out and just about directly in front of goal. Madden's unusual style is effective, as it's through for four points to the Bombers. And once again, picked up by the skipper, Danaher, to half forward. Schimmelbush is there. The knock away to Madden. On to Williams. Bahaja looks for the hand pass. He's got it to Watson, who steadies. Watson's shot. It's through. And once again, Essendon answer the challenge. Timmy Watson's first goal. North can't get. Dempsey and Madden go for this one. Madden couldn't hold that one. Williams in the front. Posse spins out of the back beautifully. Now he goes for a pass, no, not far enough as Heard drives it back there again towards Dench and Merritt. Dench, oh, well, actually took it away from him, Rams. He had a chance. Down goes Ezard. The umpire call play on. Bahajar's grab. In goes Ezard again to Watson. Now Watson's got a chance to score. And he shredded it through for a goal. But it's goal number two to Watson. A hurried kick that time by Evan Athley. Well, Madden uh, had no uh, opposition that time from Smith far too big. It was a great leap by the... Big Ruckman for Essendon. 14 8 92 to North Melbourne, 10 3 63. Quiet day so far by Shimmer. A good attempt at marking by McCann. Bahaja. Madden. And Essendon did to attack again. He's looking for Bandahar or Williams. Williams takes the mark. He's played well today. And again, a few other North Melbourne players we could describe in the same words. Williams is 45 to 50 metres out. That's a good shot at goal. I think it's there. The goal umpire concurs. And Williams brings up four points for the Bombers who are going right on with the job. And the free kick at centre for a centre wing. Taken out there by Hawker. Dench in the middle sets himself well. Palm down. Picked up by Bahaja. No one chasing. Bahaja into the goals. Oh, look at this. Van der Haar, 10 metres out. Well, a chance now for Van der Haar to kick goal number one. And, of course, 16th uh, for Essendon. There's the kick. It's a goal. So it's 10 goals, 363 North Melbourne to Western, 16-9, 105. Free kick, a hand pass to Neagle. Left unattended out there. So he's clear and uh, goes another pass. Bradbury coming. He's played a fine game today, too. Out there at half back. The ball back towards the uh, Madden, Madden out there with Dempsey can't take the mark but there's no hope of Dempsey recovering to grab him as he clears now and boots the ball up there Van der Haas got the mark got away from Cowton that... been injured when he went off in the second quarter well I'm surprised because uh, I wouldn't have uh, taken him off Van der Haar. he held him well oh, there's the kick by Van der Haar. it's the goal as the siren goes for three quarter time it looks like he's certainly got a huge deficit to make up a bit to get back into this match knocked away by Folds the runner is Hawker who fumbles, but he's got another chance. He has to take a wide turn. Back to Duckworth. Duckworth on centre wing. Lobs it to half forward, looking for Van der Haar. The opposition is from Smith, who punches it down. It's taken by Watson. The Essendon fans draw. Watson shot at goal. There's a boomer. It's another one. Essendon really home and hose now. The nail right into the coffin. It's more like the death march for North. Dench. Long kick, no one can mark it. Van der Haar. Good game for Essendon today. Nine marks in many positions. Shoots it to Watson, who plays on around McCann. The snapshot is a boomer! What a goal from Watson! Four goals to the Essendon young veteran. 19-12. 1-2-6 to 10-3-63. Now it's been taken at half-back. Duckworth. 
and he brings it to the centre wing and there's Big Merritt. He's had a rest on the bench for a while, so he's fresh. He grabbed when he didn't have the ball and he'll take the free kick. And he's gone for the hand pass to Hawker. Ezard around the boundary line. In towards the full forward pocket. Donnell is there, position number four. Will result in a goal to the skipper. Danaher pops it through for his second of the afternoon. Essendon running right away. And it's an Essendon player that gets the kick. It's to Bahaja, who's gone to Merritt. Merritt in turn to Neagle, who goes for a run. Essendon running rings around their opponents at the moment. They're doing as they like. Watson steadies. Turns on a swippany bit. A long shot of goal by Watson is another one. Four, five goals to Watson. It is a bar. Twelve and a half minutes gone. Knocked out by McDonald. Goes after the ball again. He crashed, but it's for hard yard coming in. He's been a pretty good player since half time. But there's not many weak ones down there to Donnell. Punched out by Cowton. Backing up there is a dog. He's been to all the trouble about the place, Dents. Finally, it comes down to Ramsey. Ramsey gets a low kick along the ground. But it's Bahaja going through the pack beautifully. A hand pass to Williams. And another goal coming up, I would say. Yes, sir. Two goals that time to Williams. Oh, what a bath the... Uh... 74 points the difference. Knocked down by Mac uh, McDonald. Out to Clayton, who marks on the run. Gets clear of Dimitriou. Smith at the back, likewise Ezard, looking for a free kick out there, it was Watson, none forthcoming, here's Kink, he was grabbed, he didn't have the ball, he'll get the free kick, and he could kick it too, not that much today, but it hasn't mattered, they've had so many good players, Essendon, a 55 metre kick too, it's through for one behind, at least I thought it was, a chance for Bahaja, with a the goal, they do it easy, Essendon, don't they? We've seen so many good ones. It's been a pretty woeful performance by North since half-time. They did have a chance when they trailed by 21 points, but they haven't been in the picture since, uh, since uh, the Eston side let themselves go. A hand pass back there from Neagle to Hawker, a short pass, and Rene Kink's got the ball out there on the wing position. A quick hand pass over to Merritt, goes for a short pass. It'll be OK, and the skipper's got the mark. Danaher played a pretty good game here today, too. The Bombers, 24th goal on the board if he's uh, accurate enough. And that's right through the middle. So another goal to Essendon. 24 goals, 12, 156. To North Melbourne, 11 goals, 470. The hand pass from Weston across to Clayton into the centre and Kink. Kink now, not quite in the centre, gives the hand pass to Neagle. No pace at all on the game at the, at the present moment as Danaher takes the mark, gives it on to Merritt. Roger Merritt puts the kick down. Dunnell in the position to take the mark and does so. Frank Dunnell. Cowton will be brought back about five metres. A short pass. Hawker the recipient. And Hawker now directly in front. 33 possessions for the day. That's a fine effort. Yet to kick a goal. He's about to change that. And as Hawker brings up his first. So one goal to Glenn Hawker. And ever since he's had that adverse criticism, it's made him a far better player, I'll tell you that for sure. And there's a good mark taken by McCann, and there's the siren to win the game. And the Bowers go into the 1983 Grand Final, and the final score, 25 goals, 14, 164.